Hello, my name is Yara Brown, and once again, this is the Druid of Endicott. But I wanted to do a bit of tweaking, rebranding, to help revive this channel. Um, it's been so long since I posted because um, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with this channel, what direction I wanted to go into. And um, now that's changed and I have a better idea of what I want to do. And that is um, put out vlogs of um, not only my progress in um, learning my craft and using it, putting it towards um, helping the community, but um, things of a more personal nature. Um, my transition, which I left out of videos before, as a matter of fact, I didn't even show my face up until the um, silent announcement. And um, I think that was still a bit of latent, like, not only imposter syndrome, but um, dysphoria. And I hadn't, because I didn't, I had had plans to start uh, testosterone, but I didn't until um, January of this year. And now I've been on it for um, almost three months. So I wanted to um, make videos with my progress regarding that and also um, on a personal note, discuss uh, some opinions I have about um, the healing and redeeming of souls and how um, anyone, anyone can go through that process. Because um, both myself and um, a friend that I've made, who is of a different spiritual path, but he and I share um, the same opinions that um, that no one is beyond redemption, no one is beyond healing, and um, as well as um, my craft has changed slightly, <laughs> or. <laughs> I guess you could say not so slightly, along with um, learning the um, the Celtic path. I've also been um, walking a bit of the heathen path. Sorry, <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> My air just kicked on. Um, and I found that um, the tradition of Sather and being a Sather mother has resonated with me um, in that um, in a gender sense I find myself and this is what took so long for me to understand that um, you don't have to ascribe to modern masculinity whatsoever um, and so I like to um, think of myself as going about it in a more ancient folkloric mythological sense. Um, I've really resonated with, um, as funny as it sounds, I've really resonated with the Gandalf Big Naturals meme. and. Um, how it can be simultaneously very masculine, but <laughs> very busty. But um, as I have mentioned, um, the Seether Mather, Sather Mather, still working on these old Norse words, uh, was a, a man who invited a lot of um, 
personal shame upon himself um, for taking up a practice that was seen as traditionally for women. And it was seen as emasculizing. Um, it was pretty much like the old Norse ergi, as it is known. I see it as like the old Norse take of um, homophobia. Oh, how could any man want to practice the Seder? And that's resonated with me, um, both in terms of who I am as a practitioner and who I am as um, a non-binary uh, boy, man. Uh, it's hard for me to even say, um, call myself a non-binary man because it's so, how I feel is so um, apart from um, all of this ma toxic masculinity and what you need to do to be um, a man in these days. And I rather see myself as um, as back in the day, um, the Seder Mather, I sit outside the margins of society and its expectations and its gender roles. And, um, and I want to be very um, gender nonconformist, very um, non -bin very non-binarily man. Um, and coming to terms with that has been a great um, inner exploration. And um, that has finally culminated in um, again doubling down. Um, I am a druid, but I am also um, a satyr mather. I am a wizard rather than a witch. Um, so that that was as a witch is what I used to identify as. But even with the push of um, which being a gender neutral term in modern spaces, um, it still lost all of its meaning to me, um, especially with um, once taking up these um, traditional paths. Uh, so all of that being said, I want to take things in a more um, personal direction, but also in a more um, discussion-based direction uh, with this channel versus what I was doing beforehand. So, I'm and I'm going to try and upload more frequently, um, at least once a month to talk about um, where things stand, uh, not only in my personal life, but in my craft, the things I'm learning, um, and to try and bridge the gap between um, my magical journey, my learning, and my personal journey of, of gender transition along with uh, giving like announcements every now and again of what um, I'm doing out in the community. Um, like I said, uh, back in the last time I uploaded with the um, the Samhain with the, with the Druid, which was very successful <laughs> beyond my uh, wildest expectations. Uh, so with that in mind, um, I'm just going to close this off with um, a small announcement. I am doing my first um, ritual, public ritual, at the uh, Davis Gardens through Vine. Um, it's going to happen on the uh, strawberry moon, uh, the full moon in June which is a super moon, so hopefully it injects it with some extra juice. I am um, blessing the garden with Frere, the, um, the Vanner Norse god of um, fertility and abundance and wealth. 
uh, he, I've been cultivating a good relationship with him as well his, as his sister, Freya, who is teaching me uh, the Sather. And um, after that, I would hope to still keep um, being not only an activist, but a spiritual um, leader in the community as much as I can. Uh, so there's your update. Um, and I hope to, um, oh, and one other thing. Uh, I had a Facebook page that was dedicated to my art. I'm going to also rebrand that into um, my spiritual Facebook page. So I'm changing Anarcho Envy over to, um, I don't know if I'll do the Druid of Endicott. Probably. Probably. I'll change that over to the Druid of Endicott and make any um, announcements or and then cross post to um, Southern Tier Trans uh, because I do really want to do the um, Transgender Day of Remembrance uh, ritual that I did last year. So much has happened since the last time I uploaded on here and that was also very um, successful and well, well received uh, ritual that I did for the community. And I look forward to doing so many more. So with that, um, there's your, this was supposed to be brief and now it's almost 12 minutes. There's your update and I look forward to seeing you soon.